get a thing? Okay. We fire up the iPad because we put this on YouTube. So mm -hmm. if you want to see Robert Patrick play this in video form, go to our YouTube channel, Brett Davern Show. I didn't even drink my water. And I'm a lousy podcast <laughs> guest. <laughs> and if you're uh, watching on YouTube and you want to see the full episode with Robert, which we covered like a million things. Lots of stuff. So much stuff. Hopefully, hopefully somebody can walk away with something from this interview. From Terminator to The Sopranos, um, check out the full show of the podcast on iTunes and BrettDivernShow.com. But, Robert, I have two note cards, one in each hand. They each contain a different line of questioning. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to put them behind my back. You I tell me right this. or left. Left. What Marty always says. It is ten questions. Questions. Usually turns out to be more like 20 because, like you, I can't ever shut up. Okay, so, so I appreciate that. Now, so <laughs> 10 questions. This could turn into a two hour interview. Yeah, mm -hmm. this could, we could, we could really go into overtime. You only asked me like one question on this. I know, show. and then we just <laughs> rambled the whole time. <laughs> we, we, we riffed. Question number one. Now, they start off as softballs and then they get a little harder as we go along. Okay, fine. All right, question number one. You're avoiding politics, I hope. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We're mm -hmm. staying away from all of that. Good. Robert. Yes. What is your favorite emoji? The pile of shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that your most used emoji? No, but it's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I just like the way it looks. I love it. I I gotta tell you, I didn't know I thought it was like I think it was I, a chocolate ice cream. Yeah, right? right? I, I mean I didn't it. know I didn't know. I love the people who think that it's chocolate yogurt. I'll it might tell you, be all right, yogurt. But friend of uh, yeah. friend of the show and one of my good friends, Jillian Rose Reed, who was on Awkward with me. Uh, if I say something that she deems offensive, she'll send me the piece of pizza and then the pile of shit. So I'm a pizza shit. So there you go. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, rapid fire round. What is your favorite food? Pasta. Uh huh. Musician or band? My brother Richard Patrick. There filter. you go. Um, most watched movie of all time. So. Maybe not your favorite movie. I mean, it, it might be, but what movie do you think you've seen the most amount of times? The Godfather. Oh, how can you go wrong? Epic. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, they do that thing every year where they put it on, like, AMC or whatever. They start running it. Yeah. It's around the same time every year. It's, I'm just, and they run all of them back to back to back to back, whatever. Yeah. I've lost a day. It's unbelievable. If, you, if, you, if I even catch one second of it on TV, I'm in. It's, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Is that your favorite movie then, too? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola is my favorite uh, director, yeah. so uh, Apocalypse Now is really in there, too. Now, yeah. do you have any guilty pleasure TV shows that you're into? So these would be like, you know, Naked and Afraid or... Uh, this you know, is the Real sound... Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Could you imagine Robert really watching dead. the Real Housewives be of Beverly Hills? <laughs> That'd be awesome. He's just in a bathrobe, you know, <laughs> seeing what those crazy ladies are up to. What do you got? I, I'm boring. I got no? Nothing. I got nothing. What do you, what do you got binge TV, out on on TV? You go History I don't, Channel I don't a lot? Have, I don't have a lot. National of, Geographic Channel? What are you into? Of, I don't have a lot of... Yeah? I, I'm either on my motorcycle, okay. studying lines, hanging out with my wife and kids. Mm-hmm. I watch baseball, football. Totally, you know that's pretty much the only live TV I watch about is sports. All I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Rich Eisen show. Hey, there you go. Plug for Rich, there you go. <laughs> love that when I'm on the treadmill. Now, do you guys season tickets to the Rams now? I'm a Rams guy. So you know, now hold. Let's not I get. See, to, what's all this? Hold on. What's all Before this? Before you say too much, I'm taping the Seahawks game today. So if you know anything, don't say anything. But I saw you. Okay. I went to the Seahawks Rams game here, the home opener for the Rams at the Coliseum, <laughs> and I'm sitting in my seats, <laughs> and they're doing a thing on the video screen where they're saying, "Hey, uh, hashtag your Instagram post, and we'll put your picture up here." What's the first picture they show? Robert Patrick <laughs> yeah. in the stands. I'm looking up. Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, there he is!" And I was trying to, I was trying to find you, but I couldn't find Let you. Let me ask you something real quick. Yeah. It's <laughs> I told you how many times I moved around. Yeah. Every one of those places I went. Uh huh. Was a football team, sure, mm -hmm. and a baseball team. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, we didn't have direct TV. Yeah, you couldn't follow your team. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you had so what you had. Every time I moved, what was the pro team I was going to go root for? I, I I never felt like I had this allegiance. Okay. to the Atlanta Falcons. Right, right. Even right. though I loved them, they were great when I was living in Atlanta. So are you? Are you? So what I'm Staking saying is, your claim in the Rams. So what I'm saying is, I do love the Falcons. They're okay. in my heart. Okay, they were the team I was rooting for because they were the only team I was interested in watching on Directv. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That I. I love the Browns. I love the Lions. I love the Patriots. I, you know, all these teams I've cheered for at some point in my life. 
Now, first time in, that, I, that I could afford tickets yep. that bring a pro franchise back to L.A. What am I going to do? You got to root for them. I, I, yeah. I want to be a part of this community. Yeah. I've lived here for over 35 years. Sure. My son is a football player. Yeah. I want to take my son to uh, season. T- there. Uh, there you uh, go. Home team. Uh, yeah. we, we're going to root for the Rams. You'll get no argument from me. No, no. You, only when you're no. playing the Seahawks. Not for me. The, no. the only, but there's some people out there that go, dude, like, who's your team? Yeah. And I go, well, the Rams now. Yeah. And I go, but how do you do that? You're not loyal. No, I'm from no, Pittsburgh. No. I'm a Steeler guy. Nah. And I go, yeah, but you've been living in L.A. for how long? 40 years. And you're still a Steeler guy? Yeah. yeah. Are you saying that I'm supposed to switch from the Seahawks to the Rams? That's kind of what I'm but, saying, bro. No, man. <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> now, I, this tattoo doesn't come off. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, I'll show you after the show. It's not you appropriate a, for YouTube. You got a Seattle Seahawks tattoo? <laughs> Maybe. Have you met Pete Carroll? No. Ugh. Why? Would I like him? Good guy. Oh, oh yeah? You like best. him? Yeah. yeah, see, now a guy like you, now, now I kind of feel like... Maybe it's bad what I've done. Maybe. Nah, that's all right. But I love going. No, down no, there. no. And I love. I, I got to tell you, I love buying all the swag and yeah, wearing sure. all the swag. Oh yeah. I love being in the Coliseum cheering yeah. for the Rams. Well, if you go to a Rams game, you'll probably see Robert on the big screen. Yeah. Cheering see what for happened? Yes. Yeah, what are you on? Question two. Yeah, we're on uh, question three. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> did you ever have an AIM or AOL Instant Messenger? And if so, what was your screen name? The answer is probably no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah, that's he, all right. The funny thing is he's on the other end of the spectrum now. What do you mean? Well, you know, usually you know, we've had some guests who are too young to have had Instant Messenger. Yeah, that's and true. And Robert probably yeah. didn't really Are you use... calling Robert Patrick old? No, no, no. I'm not yes. calling he's Robert He's going to put on those sunglasses Robert, and come across the table, Ben. Ro- you better watch out. Robert uh-huh. would not have been, you know, as we've talked about, he was starting his career and stuff and everything. That's he true. wasn't using computers and stuff, and he's that's not a true. computer guy. Jesus, I'm yeah. old. Jeez. There's nothing wrong with really Robert, old, you man. can stand up and stab him in the neck okay. anytime you want. It's fine. Hey, you know, it'll make... Uh, he he I does I have I a blade. I don't even have to stand up. <laughs> it, it's got, hey, it'd make great YouTube. Just make sure we get it in frame. Wait, quickly, though. Actually, this sends me <laughs> off. It might send us off a little bit, but whatever. We'll edit it if we have to. Tell me about Booze Fighters a little bit, though. Booze Fighters is a 70-year-old motorcycle club. It's yep. a drinking club. Go to YouTube and see what Robert's wearing. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's a drinking club with a motorcycle problem. <laughs> Uh, we uh, were f- formed in Los Angeles in 1946. Oh, wow. Um, it was formed by some veterans that came back from World War II. Uh, we didn't, they didn't know it, that they had post-traumatic stress syndrome, but they, you know, mm-hmm. that's what they were looking for is an adrenaline rush and a place to party and have a good time and be brothers. So they, you know, they formed these motorcycle clubs, and, and uh, Boost Fighters were formed in L.A. Sure. Uh, we are... Um, and when did you get involved with it? Ten years ago, 11 years ago, I rode okay. across country. I'd read a book about the Booze Fighters. I had read uh, their history and realized that I could be a part of it. This all happened as I was doing the unit, as I was doing the USO tours. And it, it sort, I took, sort of took my motorcycle enthusiasm and threw it all together and, a real, deci- uh, and decided that, that we could there's have There's a real fraternity of, of act. A lot of actors are into riding bikes yeah. and uh, in clubs. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. I, as far as I know, I'm, I'm the only one that rides in a club is, besides some other guys that I know that were club members you, that became actors. you ever meet Ethan Embry? Ethan, he's, he's in he, a, he was in He my rides club. bikes, doesn't he? He was in my club. Oh, he was, okay. Yeah, he was yeah. one of the founding members. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I just knew he was in a club. I didn't know which yeah, one. Yeah, he was in, he was in, he was in oh, our club. Okay, cool. He's no longer riding with us, but we love Ethan yeah. to death. He's a oh, wonderful, okay. wonderful guy. Yeah. I think he's a tr- tremendous actor. I just remember I did a thing with him, and I remember he's really into bikes. Yeah, yeah no, so. he is, and, and he was. He, he was a member. He's no longer a member. Cool. But we, we're, a, we're a nonprofit. We raise money for uh, disabled veterans. There you go. See? And uh, uh, we, we have, we have um, uh, motorcycle clubs, uh, excuse me, chapters all over the, the world. Okay. And, and uh, we're celebrating our 70th year. And um, it's a great fraternity. For me, you know, I don't really hang out with actors, no disrespect. I, you know, I, I, I like hanging out with real people. And, yeah. And, uh, I've got some great brothers and friendships that I've had, and uh, yeah, that's cool. I love it. I love that's riding great. all over the country. That's awesome. Question number four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Robert, who is your celebrity crush? Um, my celebrity crush. <laughs> wow. Oh, These questions are one. so silly. Yeah. This is really. Yeah. 
Who is my We do ask these crush? to every guest. Well, I've always mm -hmm. had a crush on Sharon Stone. Oh, there you go. I got to play her husband mm -hmm. in a movie I did with uh, uh, Amanda Seyfried. Mm -hmm. We did uh, Lovelace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always had a crush on Sharon Stone. I saw Lovelace. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Anyway. It's a story of uh, Linda Let's Lovelace. Let's just keep on going. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep moving on. There's no story on that. I, I got I to I I I I I answer these questions. Robert, you ever been uh, starstruck? Terrible. Yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. Who was it? What happened? Um, well, I've worked with him, uh -huh. both as a director and an actor. I, I, I mean, I mean st starstruck sounds kind of weird to me, but I mean, are there people that I'm in yeah. awe of? People, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Uh, Clint Eastwood, I, I worked with oh, him. Yeah. I mean, I mean I've, I've always... Sure. I mean, uh, you know, it was just a guy that I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. It's Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. He's my oh, director. So cool. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I'm acting with him. You know, I mean, he's a great guy. He's that's an amazing a, That's talent. a bucket but, uh, list yeah. uh, person to work with yeah. for and sure. Then, and, 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 you know, there's there's others. But, yeah. Uh, that's sure. a good one. Yeah, that's sure. a good one. I think, I think a lot I – think, I, think, I think actors do get starstruck with people. Oh, yeah. Of course. Certain guys that they have the, – you know, that they Well, I like how you said it, too, in awe of – yeah, that's yeah. great. I just admire their work. Number five, because I was oh on a show called Awkward – Everyone so would always awkward. ask me, what's the most awkward moment of your life? Uh, so what was the most awkward moment of your life? Or this could be it, if you uh, want. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most <laughs> awkward moment of my life. Oh, I don't God. know. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> number six. I've this got is so a, many. We're I've moving so on. Many, yeah. This is a number uh, actor studio, you know, the this show with James six. Lipton. This, this, is an, six. this is six. This is an actor studio ripoff question. Okay. What's your favorite curse word? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did I break the board? Perfect. No, no, no. No, no it was good. great. Good. Actually, didn't and there's another one I like, too. All right. Okay, go ahead. Give it to Cocksucker. There you go. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, kids. So sorry. Right. sorry. So sorry. Hey, so sorry. Listen, it happens. That was awkward. That's an awkward moment. This is, the real, this is the real world, people. Get used to it. That's right. Uh, number seven, if you could have dinner with any historical figure. Yeah, that's all good. Alive or dead, historical figure, going to dinner with one of them, who would it be? Jesus. Yeah. Where would you take him? Lucy's El Adobe. I want him to meet Lucy. There you go. Boom. She's an angel. She's a saint. Number eight. Do you prefer boxers, briefs, boxer briefs, or commando? Boxers. Without looking, do you know what color you're wearing today? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. What's your best or uh, what's your favorite piece of advice you've received in life? It's a hard question if you can distill it down to one, but maybe what's the first thing that came in your in your head? Best advice I ever got from my acting coach: relax. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's and important. it's applicable to all things. Just relax. Chill out and relax. I like it. Number ten. And then the other thing he said was, "How much coffee do you drink?" <laughs> 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 no, I'm serious. <laughs> uh, number ten. We made it. Final question. Unbelievable. This question, your answer to this question tells me everything I need to know about you. I'm embarrassed about how much I talk. No, please. Okay. Come on. I have the problem, too. That's why I had to start this the show, the, like yeah. I said. Okay. Okay. Now, your answer to this question yes, tells sir. me everything that I need to know about you, yes, and it sir. will tell the audience everything that they need to know about you. So it's the most important question you've ever answered in your entire life. Robert Patrick, what is your favorite fruit? Strawberry. That's a wrap, everybody, on another edition of the Brett Davern Show. Thank you out there for listening. Thank you for subscribing on iTunes, Google Play Music, or Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcast. Remember, it's free, and if you like what you heard, tell a friend about our podcast or tell your uh, brothers or sisters. If you'd please rate and review our show, Ben would really appreciate mm -hmm. that. Go to brettdavernshow.com, where each episode is archived. There are also tons of behind-the-scenes photos of... Robert Patrick and all of our guests. You can also follow the show on any of the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook. Same handle for all those, at Brett Davern Show. Also on our website, you can sign up to receive a free personalized gift in the mail. We mail them out. I pay for it, so it's free for you. And you can also sign up to be a caller on the show if you want to be a caller like Julie mm -hmm. from Denmark. You can do that as well. Today's guest, Robert Patrick, can be found on Twitter at RobertPatrickT2. Yeah, 
Robert Patrick is spelled just how you think it is. And you can also catch him Monday nights on CBS on the hit show Scorpion. Anything else? Instagram at Rip Fighter. R-I-P-F-I-G-H-T-E-R. There you go. Snapchat at Rip Fighter. You're on Snapchat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> just keep, I'm, I'm, keep using the poop emoji. I'm yeah, just yeah. worthless, dude. <laughs> I love it. I got no idea. Uh, ben, get your help. phone. We're going to Robert's story immediately yeah, on Snapchat. That's awesome. Help. Are you going to stick with uh, strawberries? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You know, I like strawberries. All right. Our producer, Big Ben Collinsworth, is on Twitter. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Our producer, Big Ben Collinsworth, is on Twitter at the Big Ben seventy six. My buddy Marty Shannon's latest album is called Twenty Six Hundred, and you can find it at brettdavernshow dot com. It's also streaming on Spotify. And Marty has this for all of us. Marty will say something inspirational right here. Marty's on Twitter at Marty underscore Shannon. As for me, I'm Brett on Twitter at bdav b d a double v. That was our show. Good night. Oh, I always say someone different every episode. What do you think, Ben? This has been a big episode. Uh... Hasta la vista, baby. Perfect. Done.